Member for Courtney Comox. Honourable Speaker, two weeks ago, the Comox Valley was privileged to be able to meet and hear from Dr. Cindy Blackstock, speaking on restorative practices in Indigenous child protection. It was one of the latest in the lecture series of the Comox Valley Community Justice Centre's patron, Iona Campanolo. The lectures are only one of the Centre's bright lights. The Community Justice Centre created a one-of-a-kind family conference model of restorative justice in the 1990s that continues to this day. They purposefully used the civil court's language of complainant and respondent, reflecting a more active process, avoiding passive terms like victim and offender. Those who have been hurt have a place to meet with those who have caused the hurt in a safe, neutral environment to move through the steps of apology to the chance for healing. There are 150 truly dedicated volunteers with diverse backgrounds on this restorative justice team, from a 22-year veteran facilitator to a 19-year-old North, North Island College criminology student, from 21 impressively trained facilitators, facilitators to case coordinators who shepherd cases through from the initial interviews to monitoring the outcomes, from panel members at each conference who represent the harm to the broader community, to administrative coordinators. Everyone's long-term goal is to build a community where restorative justice is the first choice rather than the last. Cases come from self-referrals to agency referrals, police referrals, pre-charge, and now referrals by Crown prosecutors post-charge. Thank you to all of them, and a special thanks go to Bruce, goes to Bruce Curtis, who has been there from the beginning, moulding a successful, high-caliber restorative justice program we can and should all turn to. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.